Wow, we have an issue here that a certain person knocked down this wonderful bag of wasabi, which is the other thing that you're So I've just doing. brought you these little ones you can make, but if you come over to us and uh, this is the time of year that the wasabi leaf and petiole starts coming to its best. So we make pickles from them. Okay. And we chop them up very finely. Yeah. So you can see on our Irish wasabi post, they put up a picture and these, they're almost like miniature celery sticks. So we chop them into one centimeter pieces. Yeah. Soak them um, in, in salt brine. Yeah. Drain off the salt brine. Yeah. Just drain it off. You're, we're just trying to soften. Sorry, I, I have to start again. First of all, we blanch them. You with 80 degrees Celsius water okay. for about 40 seconds. Just okay. Softens them a little bit, but without losing the heat. When I say heat, the pungency. Yeah. Then, um, having pickled them, we blanch them. Then we soak them in a salt brine. Yeah. Then drain off the salt brine. Yeah. And we soak them in olive oil and vinegar oil. Now you can use, or vinegar, you can use apple cider vinegar, you yeah. can use balsamic vinegar, or what the Japanese use a lot is soy sauce. Soy sauce even softens them more. You leave them there for about 48 hours and then you use them and that retains the pungency. So when you're eating it. So the you, spiciness of yeah, it. The sp yeah, pungency or spicy. I say pungency because, you know, people t are expecting more when they expect a spicy thing. Yeah. They're used to eating mustard, not wasabi, as I've told you before. <laughs> and, uh, they're expecting mustard when in actual fact it's, it's not mustard, it's wasabi. Yeah. So you do, it retain, they retain a mild pungency. When you chew on it, then you get this kick. It releases more. Which goes right up into your right sinuses. Into, but it's fantastic for oh, it's your delicious. blood, for your sinus, for, for the Japanese use it herbally as well as yeah the diet. now what i love doing in the past when you've given me when you've given me the um the wasabi what i've really enjoyed was just dicing it up and putting it in yeah. scrambled eggs or a cheesy yes. omelet and yeah, it's yeah. delicious and mix, the leaf, mix the leaf and the pt all together yeah it gives you crunchiness and it also gives you um it gives you the flavor now i eat it raw um i yeah I, no i think i tried that last yeah. time i was with you <laughs> <laughs> I think I like cooking well, it a little what bit. What we'll do is we'll give you a shout when we're when we're doing it another week or two. Yes. Uh, Claude and Richard will be. Oh, uh, yeah, and then I can come over. I would can, love to do and that. Claude has a little recipe. We'll give you some some of it. We're making our own little. Um, um, not a, I don't like calling it a pesto because it's not. We're making our own little recipe for. Um, Using as a kind herbal of a, preservative of wasabi. Herbal preservative of wasabi. We think of another name. <laughs> yes. Zuki. Wasabi Zuki is the Japanese, but we don't want to claim that we're Japanese we're when you're in Japanese Ireland. Japanese when no. we're in Ireland. So <laughs> we'll think of a name for it, but it's a fantastic addition to the diet. I ensure I get about 20 grams, 30 grams a day. And you're Absolutely. healthy and fit well, and I'm, 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 relative I'm to your age. I think we're all getting old. <laughs> I am too. <laughs> I'm, I'm, oh, well, I'm not I trying feel... to get younger, but I'm trying to... <laughs> stay fitter. Stay fit. <laughs>